new polls in Chile have shown a pretty surprising situation in terms of politics, considering that extreme right-wing leader Jose Antonio Cast is currently the favorite to win the upcoming presidential elections in the South American nation against left-wing candidate Gabriel Boric. We're talking about a huge surprise that not so many people expected considering that over the last few months Gabriel Boric has been the absolute favorite to get the Palacio de la Moneda in the next presidential elections in the South American country. So this is something extremely unexpected, especially because Jose Antonio Cas wasn't even the main candidate of Chile's right wing, but over the last few weeks, different polls, the most important pollsters in Chile are showing that he is currently the main favorite. So many people are currently asking themselves, is Jose Antonio Cas really um, an extreme right wing, a right wing extremist. So the truth is, this is quite complicated. It is quite complicated because to consider someone a radical in terms of politics in every nation depends on the history of that nation in particular. So, for example, it will be unfair to compare Jose Antonio Cas with other uh, radical right-wing leaders in the region, like for example, Jair Bolsonaro in Brazil, because it is an undeniable fact that Cass is not exactly as Bolsonaro and he hasn't expressed uh, the type of radical ideas as Bolsonaro, especially in terms of his manners. However, if we're talking about Chilean politics, uh, what many people dislike about Jose Antonio Cas is the fact that he has been an apologist of the former Chilean right-wing dictator Augusto Pinochet. He has always claimed that there were many positive uh, elements of the military government because he don't even call the Pinochet's regime as a dictatorship or as a tyranny. He actually calls the uh, the, the Pinochet regime as a military government. So in this particular point, he could be considering a radical. So on the other hand, uh, we need to take into consideration what currently happened in the city of Iquique, which we in Newsweek provided a full explanation and full information about the tragedy that suffered many Venezuelans in this, in this particular city. And on this point of what happened in Iquique, uh, Jose Antonio Cas made a pretty controversial statement in which he essentially he essentially said that the people who decided to commit these acts against the Venezuelan migrants and the other migrants that were living in Iquique uh, had some reasons to do it and he even said that he was against uh, all type of migration to Chile. So. There are many elements of Jose Antonio Cas that portrays him as a radical right winger and there are many other elements that portray him as the typical moderate right winger. But on the other hand, the, the undeniable fact is that people are willing to vote for him, especially because what recently took place in the widespread protest across the country with many people committing different type of, of vandalism, different types of crimes in the, in the different cities where, where they were protesting. And we can say that at the end, a really huge number of Chileans secretly disagreed with these protesters. So Jose Antonio Cas is essentially the vote against these protesters, against the left wing, and basically against well, against vandalism, because this was something that was clearly portrayed in almost every single protest that took in many cities of Chile a couple of months ago. So, what this poll shows is not only the fact that Jose Antonio Cas is currently the main favorite, but also that there is a huge portion of Chileans who can be identified with right wing or the radical right wing, depending on the way you see it, because at the end of the day, in this particular 
in this particular topic, Jose Antonio Cast is some kind of mystery. He's some kind of mystery because he's not exactly La Calle Pou, the moderate right-wing president of Uruguay. He's not exactly Ivan Duque, the moderate right-wing president of Colombia. However, it will be extremely unfair if we say that he's also someone like Bolsonaro, who is essentially the radical right-winger of this region. So we'll have to see what happens, but the truth is that Chile's right wing has a huge opportunity to win the presidential elections because we cannot, we simply uh, cannot skip the possibility that the moderate right wing, which basically has expressed a lot of concern against Cass, essentially creates some kind of political partnership with him in order to maintain power. Reporting from Medellin, Colombia, Luis Orozco, Newsweek.